On this video, we're taking a journey back in time to Southern Africa, where a remarkable woman rose to prominence as a queen regent. From her influential role in succession politics to her fearless defiance of white settlers, Queen Lozikei's story is one of courage, leadership, and resilience. Discover how she led her people during the Anglo Matabele War in 1896, standing strong alongside her twin brother to ensure their army was well prepared for the battle, and learn about her lasting legacy from her place of retirement on the Queen's location to the school she championed for the future generations. A very loving but dangerous and intriguing woman. Royal and humble greetings to each and every one. Lucy Gaye was born in 1855 to Ngoko and Uma Chabalal in a village called Ingaba or A14. Lucy Gaye Lolo emerged into the world as a beacon of strength and resilience, raised within the rich cultural traditions of the Ndebele people. She inherited a legacy of leadership and courage from her ancestors. According to Ubaba Mr. Pati Sanyat, who is a historian and an author, Lozikei had two fathers, a biological father and a cultural father. His cultural father was Ngoko, and his biological father was Chocha. Chocha was the younger brother of Ngoko. After Ngoko's death, Chocha took Umachabalal as his wife, which is called Ukungena in Ndebele tradition. So even though Chocha was the biological father of Lozike, according to Ndebele tradition, all the children that come out of Ukungena are still recognized as the first husband's children. That's why Queen Lozike is known as Lozike Kangoko. His father, Ngoko Lolo came from the Lolo family lineage who were assimilated into the Ndebel. According to oral history, the Lolo were descendants of Mbangazita, which means they are related to Amashubi, which explains why Queen Lozikei had great spiritual powers. From her early years, Lozikei displayed remarkable intelligence and determination traits that would shape her destiny as a formidable leader. Despite being born in a patriarchal society, she defied expectations and curved her path with unwavering confidence. As she matured, Lucy Gay's reputation for outspokenness and defiance of colonial encroachment grew. When she married King Lobengula Kumal, becoming one of his senior wives, she did not simply accept her role as a passive consort. Instead, she wielded her influence to advocate for her people's rights and dignity. Queen Lucy Gay was the mother of the nation, but didn't have any children of her own, because she came into the royal house as Inyanga, a medical doctor and was recognized by the nation as King Lobengula's wife. After the royal family noticed that the senior wife was not bearing any children, then Lucy Gay became the senior wife. Her family brought a surrogate for her, a woman who will carry children on her behalf. The turning point in Queen Lucy Gay's life came with the outbreak of the anglo matebele War of 1896 leading the army alongside her twin brother, Munduwani. She orchestrated a strategic resistance against colonial forces. With foresight and resourcefulness, she ensured that her people had necessary ammunition to defend their land and sovereignty. Queen Lucy Gay's leadership during the war was characterized by courage, resilience, 
and unwavering determination. Despite facing overwhelming odds, she inspired her people to stand firm in the face of adversity, rallying them to defend their ancestral homeland against foreign aggression. Even after the war's conclusion, Queen Lozigay remained a steadfast advocate for her people's rights. She played a pivotal role in negotiating peace and amnesty with the British forces, timelessly working to secure a better future for the Ndebele nation. After the kingdom was destroyed, Queen Lozigay and other queens moved up near Mbembezi with a large herd of cattle and later settling in Ngosikaz. This attracted a lot of people to move with the queens and lived under their leadership. During their stay there, many of the other queens got married. Lozike is one of the few that remain and never married. She later accepted Christianity and Europeans saying that the only way to defeat the settlers is to learn and study their way of life and doing things. This later influenced the building of schools as missionaries were always coming to meet the queen. Tragically, Queen Lozigay's life was cut short in 1919, succumbing to influenza. However, her legacy as a fearless leader and champion of Ndebele independence endured long after her passing. She left behind a legacy of courage, resilience and unwavering commitment to her people's welfare inspiring generations to come to strive for freedom and justice. Queen Lozikeye Lotlo's impact on Debele history and culture is immeasurable. Her name forever echoes in the annals of African resistance and liberation. Her memory serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all who cherish the values of independence dignity and self-determination. Now that was Queen Lozigay Lodro, the Queen of the Ndebele Nation. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until the next one, thank you for watching.